Sam Burtwistle from Tynmouth has suffered severe epileptic seizures since birth. He also has facial palsy and throughout his early childhood struggled to cope with both conditions. If I was in class I would have to leave and I would have to go home, my mum had to be rung up and so forth and um, it did and also um, when I was on a particular medication I had to come back home and just go to sleep at four o'clock all the way, have dinner and then go back to sleep which uh, was during my GCSE exams which was quite hard. I felt quite lonely at times uh, when I was about 15, 16. Sam is one of around half a million people in Britain who have epilepsy. So what causes it? This bit of brain here is called the cerebellum. In Sam's case, is what's called a congenital abnormality, where he's lost the cerebellum on the right-hand side. You know, and that's where his epilepsy, I think, is coming from. One talks about it being a scar in the brain that is the source of spontaneous electrical activity developing, um, which, then spread, which then spontaneously spreads around the brain, um, and, um, and then eventually you, you, you effectively get an electrical storm, which affects the whole of brain function. Most epileptics can control their condition with medication, but the drugs alone just didn't work for Sam. And so three years ago, he underwent an operation at Frenchay Hospital in Bristol, which transformed his life. A small battery-operated device was inserted into his chest. Connected to what's called the vagus nerve, it sends electrical currents to his brain and controls the number and severity of his seizures. The basis behind this treatment, vagus nerve stimulation, is that it's, it's thought that if, it, it somehow, what the technical term is, desynchronizes that spread of ab abnormal electrical activity and stops it ge generating into a major seizure. To be honest, the only uh, feeling or sensation I get from it is... Um, when it turns on, which is about every minute or so, and um, it actually, I can feel the throbbing in my throat. Sam can also activate the device when he feels a seizure coming on, using a magnet permanently strapped to his wrist. You can swipe it across the, the chest, and um, it doubles the frequency, which means like the, the electricity that's connected to the the vagal nerve and goes into the brain which can stop the abnormal activity uh, to a certain extent or maybe just get rid of it completely. It's uh, amazing that you can have that level.